scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. And there is no result in your life. The danger is at a point in time you will become informal about everything God because you do not expect it to produce for you. Are we together now? You will be in church. You will be around the things of God. But you will never truly believe. There are people who are every time God is about to move, they are right at the face of it, but they never believe it will happen in their lives. The Bible says, Blessed is she that believes. Unbelief is a dangerous spirit. It's a dangerous spirit. Unbelief is able to make the word of God as powerful it, as it is of non-effect. He says, if you hear his voice, he says, harden not your heart as they did in the provocation in the wilderness. God gave them a word. They doubted. God's obsession, much more than being worshipped, is to be trusted. God's obsession much more than being worshipped is to be trusted. You don't sit down and use your philosophical, scientific understanding. Can God make a way in the wilderness? We say, Is God able to do this? And we go to school and when we finish school for many people, we become very educated and then we become very, very, very unwise spiritually. Because we train ourselves to be so scientific in our approach. And then we incorporate our intellectualism even to the things of God. So when God says, I will do this, he say, no, 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 God. According to the intelligence, according to this research and that research, and God says nonsense. He upholds all things by the word of his power. Hallelujah. Unbelief. Unbelief is a dangerous spirit. It can turn any man, regardless of the spiritual potentials you have, it can reduce you to ashes. Unbelief. And number two, illumination. Illumination. The Bible says, weeping endures for a night, but joy comes with the morning. The difference between the night and the morning is the rising of light. The Bible says, Jacob wrestled with him all through the night and he said leave me for the day break it he said no way i will not let you go till you bless me and he says what is your name he said i'm jacob he said your name shall no longer be jacob it will be israel for as a prince you have fought with god and prevailed and the bible says his tie was touched and then the sun arose and he called the place peniel you see when you come to church and you just sit down you are casual about it Let's see what will come. If, if you say a word for amen, we say amen. If you say a word to, for falling down, we fall down. If you say a word for rolling, we roll up. Are we together? You say, if you say a word for laughing, we laugh. If you say a word for crying, we cry. At the end of it, we hug one another. We share the grace and hope for next week. Nobody grows that way. Praise the Lord. You have to be very intentional about the word of God. When the word of God is about to be released, that's when Satan starts working. Are we together? All kinds of things. When the word of God is coming, that's when Satan rises with all the demon spirits, planting distractions, planting familiarity, planting pride, 
planting carelessness and at the end of it a word that comes that is supposed to set you free and take you to a new dimension becomes profitless see let me tell you something the word of god is not a charm it's not like a genie a charm you put in your pocket and then it just works independent no the word of god must be engaged to produce results please I, I think you need to understand this many and this is the problem with charismatics we think that because we're in the dispensation of grace the word of god will automatically work for as long as it has left the mouth of god it must produce results you are really joking really joking the bible says the seed good seed in all the soils it was a good seed there was never a problem with the seed two there was never a problem with the sower but the soil made nonsense out of the seed to an extent that birds could come and carry the seed with no fear satan does not fear the word coming to you he fears your receiving it and you're acting upon it let me tell you satan knows the word more than many people his fear is not the arrival of the word in your life proximity with the word does not produce change but satan fears when the word begins to give you understanding the moment you begin to have understanding of scripture satan becomes afraid because with understanding you will now begin to take accurate actions and when you take accurate actions you commit God's integrity to whatever the issue is let me tell you something Satan's fear it that's why he he may try to stop Bibles but he's a Bible reaching you is not Satan's concern that's why you don't see any demon saying stop Bible from reaching him no devotionals have it messages have it his fear is not the arrival of the word in your life brothers and sisters but when your heart is determined to engage with the word ah that's it satan will raise every kind of thing to destroy you because the word not understood is the same thing as the word not available write this down the word of god not accurately understood will produce the same result as the word not being available and it's terrible because that you have access to the word and someone else who is wallowing in ignorance you will think you have an advantage because the word is near you but you find out that the results are the same so you, you have to desire understanding not just that the word comes to you you must desire understanding there are so many arrogant people in the body of Christ who will claim because they have been around the world for a long time. I've been a pastor for many years. I got born again 1991. I got born again 1980, this and that. And they feel that because of their constant wallowing around an environment where the world is, it means that they have received it. Hallelujah. Please pray one more time and say, Lord, give me understanding. Let me get this thing once and for all. Give me understanding. Lead us along eternal highway. We want to walk in the ways of Jesus. Show us the ancient path. Lead us along eternal highway let me add one more prayer line a prayer point i want you to pray with all your heart and say father let my life produce results cry it before god please don't be too proud to play this to pray this prayer pray with all your heart you know that your life is not producing the result you desire don't come to god's presence and argue god's presence is not a football cinema where you come and argue and say oh god i'm coming to see if what you are saying agrees with what i know that that is nonsense pray and say god my life must command results 
this thing can work it was designed to produce in my life i'm not a barren soil open my eyes let this thing work in my life let it work in my ministry god let it work in my family please pray inside outside online pray pour your heart into this prayer pour your heart into this prayer lord i've been listening to this thing for 10 years and it seems there is a blockage from hell stopping me wherever i want to understand something comes and distracts me my life is paying for it show me this thing make it plain unto me oh god for the sake of my children make it plain unto me for the sake of the ministry you have given me make it plain unto me for the sake of the assignments you have given me make it plain unto me for the sake of your glory i've been around it but i take responsibility lord i've not understood how this thing works show it to me afresh show it to me afresh i've even taught it i've written books about it but open my eyes i am willing to see i'm not a rebel keep praying keep praying please engage your heart don't play games with your destiny engage your heart for the sake of those who are depending on you you may be the only one in your family having this access don't trivialize it the salvation of many are tied to your understanding this thing you've got to pray seriously hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord please i want you to sit quietly tonight and listen to me with all humility and with all your heart please you see when you see me talk like this from the depth of my heart i wish that god can open my heart for you to see it are we together now it is because i know that no matter how sincere you are sincerity is not the seed for what you are looking for Praise the Lord. You have served God with all your heart. Let him show us something that will help our lives. Let him show us something that we will use and wipe the tears of nations. But when we are careless, you see, God, God is a very meticulous God. When he comes to you, he does not cast his spell before swine. Just that his presence is there does not mean you will be changed automatically. He discerns the state of your heart. When you come with an arrogant philosophical heart, let me see what he has. Maybe there are one or two things God can add to me. That attitude robs you of the fullness of what God can give you. Martha, Martha, you are worried and upset about many things. He said one thing is needful. He didn't say to listen. He said to sit. It's a sign of rest. Concentrate. Pay attention when they were about to see a miracle he said tell all of them to stop all this running around sit down by 50s if you are too proud to sit down there's no bread for you you don't eat the bread standing while the bread is coming you are busy doing other things see let me tell you something i promise you in the name of the lord if you pay attention to what i'm teaching you your life will step into a state of rest you will find out that most of this running around is because we do not know the keys a door does not open to any key that you are holding a key does not mean that's the key that opens the door life was not designed to be the way many people are taking we run helter skelter and we think because we are running helter skelter that's where it is we've been trained conditioned by an environment but god is saying this is wrong sit down listen sister brother just listen at least listen by the time the message is over you can now choose to receive it or not but give it a chance 
to enter your spirit hallelujah when the word is coming that's not when to gist that's not when to ping huh that's not when to send text messages that's not when to download videos that's not when to research languages oh this is a new english language and you waste your time being distracted you see i say these things because that's how satan cheats people so they spend years in his presence and then they can even quote what the man of god is saying but their lives show that they've not gotten this thing father give us understanding tonight I pray, oh God, that you pour your heart onto us tonight. Let us see light through your light. Our hearts are open. We submit to your word. We are not here to argue with it. We realize that your word is final authority in all things. And we humble ourselves. We truly, truly humble ourselves. We tremble at your word. We let it train us. We let it build us. And you will be glorified. In Jesus name amen and amen God bless you again for your glory part two we're rounding up we started last week considering a series that challenges us to allow God to be glorified in our lives and um, we took a dimension of it last week how that self is the motivation behind many of the things that cause trouble in the society please if you've not listened to last week's message i challenge you and i plead with you it's free on the internet and with our media department get it and listen to it you will need it it's a very powerful message i told us that the coming of jesus is not just to bring a new testament when you meet jesus today he's not going to discuss old and new testament there's only one question he's going to ask you who sits at the center of your heart it has to be self or christ and last week we challenged ourselves that the hallmark of the christian experience is a life that has been replaced by christ completely enthroned in your life hallelujah so he's not one of the many important things i challenged us that the reason why we do so many things in the body of christ for many of us largely is, is self-centeredness but that when your life becomes an instrument for his glorification listen that there's no limits to what god can do in our lives hallelujah i really challenged us when jesus walked the earth all his concern listen the concern of jesus was for your glory not for my name for your glory father the hour has come glorify now thy son that thy son will glorify you when jesus came although he was god he never seemed to talk about himself he only spoke about himself with respect to his father anything you are doing that is not for god's glory no matter how spiritual it is it is complete nonsense and will not glorify god your life must be an usher that reflects him why do you want to marry so that people would know that i've come of age no that's not consistent with the motivations for which god gives people miracles why do i want a child because i'm tired of people calling me not barren and we have to be careful because our cultural settings pressure us to want things because there are many points to prove why do i want to be blessed so that my enemies will know that my god is alive that looks very good and there is a place for that but the truth of the matter is that that desire to prove a point will crash you down it has to be for his glory the worship team sang it powerfully for your glory so why do we preach for his glory why are you on that job for his glory when your life becomes a reflection of god's glory there's no limit to what he can give or make out of your life praise the lord and um, we want to take it a little further tonight you will be so blessed and i pray that your heart will be opened in jesus name galatians chapter 1 paul was speaking to the galatian church verse 24 23 24 please galatians chapter 1 let's hurry up media so that we can do much today as god grants us grace galatians 1 i'll read 23 and then we'll read 24 together it's projected it says but they had heard only this was paul speaking about his conversion and how the news spread among the brethren believers but they had heard only 
that he which persecuted us in time past now preached the faith which he once destroyed 24 i want you to read it with all your heart one to read one more time there are many ways god can be glorified one of the ways the bible shows us that god can be glorified is in a person and they glorified god not just through me they glorified god there was something they saw about my life and when they saw it they said no god you must be glorified and tonight i want to challenge us along that line since we had discussed last week that the the hallmark of the christian experience is not just doing things it's not even singing worshiping fasting praying doing all of these things as spiritual as they are it is getting to a point where christ be enthroned but then we must understand that much more than christ being enthroned he wants our lives to be a reflection of his glory that's how he gets the glory he says and they glorified god in me hallelujah this is a system for god to be glorified because god is in heaven and cannot be seen with the physical eyes we are his representatives the bible calls us his ambassadors and because we are his ambassadors we promote his interest we are the reflection we give men who do not know god an idea of what god is are we together just like um when i look at you i may not know how your father or your mother looks but i can suspect i look at you and i say wow it means your father can be this can be that and the day i see your mother i say no wonder you see the similarity so god expects that he our father who has not been seen people we should begin to give people ideas of what he is the fullness of all that is contained in him should already be experienced through our lives and in our lives let me show you something jesus said in john 15 john 15 verse 8 we'll look at it in king james and then if we can get amplified that'll be fine john 15 verse 8 jesus was speaking and this is what he said listen herein is my father glorified that means in this this is the pathway to giving my father glory if you ever are interested in seeing my father glorified this is the road to follow like you teach someone how to cook and you say look if you want a delicious meal of jollof rice this is what you do so he's giving us the pathway he say herein is my father glorified read on that ye bear much fruit not little fruit much fruit so shall ye be my disciples i love the amplified rendition is it possible for us to have it oh it's not possible amplified puts it in a very very beautiful way amplified actually connects it and it says by so doing it is in your bearing fruit you prove that you were trained by me i didn't watch a lot of movies but there used to be these movies about kung fu fighting and um, the little i know about those movies every master had children all these small boys that he trains around and occasionally they have competitions is that true where different schools come so the masters don't fight they train you and sit behind and those who they train will compete when they beat you and they whip you you don't get angry the one who trained you is the one who gets angry because it means your school is bad it means it's not good so the pride of the master they bring their best uh what they call it their best fighters are we together and when when the other person is beating someone else you see the master nodding in agreement that's right i taught him this i remember that skill that is, that is me that's what i would have done there i would have punched him in that exact way you got him right and when he wins he run, he does not run out and just he runs back to the master and say job done as you taught me i broke his leg i destroyed him the bible is saying god is watching i have given you the word i expect something it's like an investment i made on you and god is watching my reputation is at stake at the mercy of your living out the fullness of all that i am and so he says i am waiting satan also releases his arsenals 
we meet in a big stage called the earth here and God is standing in heaven and Satan is saying you drove me but watch what happens watch the nonsense I'm going to make out of those you claim you died for and then he whips us with everything from sickness to failure and then he not only whips us he educates us into believing it is God and to increase the mockery we now turn and say Lord I thank you because this has to be you and Satan says God how about that I told you if I don't get you directly I look for your image are we together now hearing is my father glorified that after a season of training you he gives you access to the word he now begins to watch when your life begins to be a reflection of his dominion when your life begins to be a reflection of his excellence when your life begins to bear fruit your life now begins to testify so when someone reads in the bible and says ah god is faithful he looks around where is the scripture i can relate with this that scripture is not first corinthians that scripture is called pastor alpha he's a life a living epistle that explains that scripture so the testimonies you see that you know why we clap you know why god was also clapping in heaven because their lives all those who came here their lives are testaments of men and women who engage the word and it produced results so why do we clap we clap because we are saying satan shame on to you are we together now satan you tried to kill that lady but she's standing and walking on two legs you wanted to ground her legs to walk on wheelchair forever but something about the world she engaged the principle and it brought that result so god is glorified that's why it is called a testimony that means the only way god is glorified is when your life becomes an unending script of testimonies that reveal the multifaceted possibilities in God that your life can be a book someone can read and say my God you mean God is this mighty I never knew but haven't heard of what has happened to a Jimmy I know God is mighty hearing is my father oh they found it when you bear or produce much fruit listen it says my father is honored are you seeing that now and glorified and you show and prove yourselves to be true followers hmm. when you give birth to a son who does not look like the father and the mother do you know that that child can create argument one day the man can call the mother during a heated conversation and say look there's something that's been bothering me for 12 years i am deeply concerned about the way this guy is behaving and how he's looking is there any story you want to share with me my heart is open why because that child is not reflect it doesn't look like the father doesn't talk like the father does he there is nothing about the father not even the mother so they begin to ask a question are we together so god is counting you know we brag with his name and he expects that something about our results should have his stamp on it if you walk in julius badger you should be able to show me their id card one day otherwise i know you're a liar and you're a crook are we together if you mold block as a julius badger worker you should be able to throw it up and it should not break on the ground that's how I know that you are not the person who just did that thing. And, and I mean, if you did it with Julius Beck, he should come in with excellence. But we claim we know him, eh, Jimmy. We claim we have met him. We even claim he spoke to us. And then our lives show we don't know him at all. I will worship him forever, love him forever, because this God is too good. I will worship him forever. Love him forever because this God is too good. See, our lives are supposed to explain scripture. Our lives are supposed to be an explanation to every aspect of scripture. Because Satan's assignment is to prove that everything about God is a lie. His statements, his resurrection, his goodness. When you say God is a good God, Satan says, all right, me, I don't talk too much, but I act. 
how many times have you had satan talk? satan is a good actor we talk too much satan says you keep shouting god is a good god i will wreck your life into pieces and then you show me the goodness of god and god says forget about satan i have created a system that if you act out you will stamp satan in a way that you will prove that what i said is true but largely we ignore god and then we never get the results let me tell you something brothers and sisters if the only reason why you want results is because of your ego you will never be serious about it are you hearing what i'm saying you know let me tell you something and i admit i'm sorry if i sound proud but one of the gifts that god has given me i cried for it and god gave me one of the gifts that god has given me to bless the body with is balance 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 is the most scarce resource among men of god not revelation not apostasy the biggest problem with preachers is imbalance the ability to construct truth so that it is communicated within the jurisdiction of its relevance and the danger is that our societies are a reflection of the ideologies of different men of God you can see that from 1985 to 1940 this when this man of God held the pulpit this is what he taught a nation they thought like that this is what they became imbalance is as deadly as error are we together so when we begin to communicate the truths of scripture it is important that we must approach scripture with a view to bring him balance so that the bride of Christ can be built in a way that she is equal in length, equal in breadth, equal in height. I was discussing with Eddie while he drove me here and I was telling him, I said, you look at us in the north. Now I will not mention states, but I mentioned a few states. I told him, you see all the traits. It came from the church. We've not interacted so much with the world. We are victims of the sermons of preachers. That's what made our parents irresponsible. Some of you as you are seated now, you love God, but you had to beg to death for your school fees. And your father has not even called you to ask you whether your school fees is paid and your father is a pastor. So imagine somebody he has been mentoring for 10 years who is about to get married next week. He's going to reproduce that same result imbalance is a dangerous thing so i train you in the aspect of prayer i train you in the aspect of your spiritual life you climb scripture but i do not teach you the principles of the word and you think because you are excelling in one area you trivialize another area let me tell you how to know a man of god is arrogant the moment you trivialize the contribution of others in the body is a sign you need deliverance no matter how anointed you are is blindness you need deliverance I was in Yola, I think, when the, people, the uh, uh, radio station wanted to do an interview for me. They were so happy I had come for a great crusade. And they were asking me a question. And they said, man of God, now that you have come into this city, you have come to do, you know, great and mighty things, this city will never be the same. And they were asking me a few questions, the secret of your anointing, what do we expect? And I told them something. I said, I will never discuss my success and impact as a man of God outside of the universal contribution of the church in yola there are men and women of god doing mighty things for god we may be in different dimensions but we are a team building together so i will not come to tear down what the pastors are doing to mean you guys have been doing nonsense here i come apostle joshua selman i've come to show you the rubbish you see that's the mistake all over the world you watch it on tv and you see men of god with their pride they approach truth as though they are the ultimate custodians of the mysteries of the kingdom and you know my fear many of us young people are gullible we are running away and it's clear that certain areas of their lives are bankrupt because they have refused to allow the holy spirit step there so we see people who are prayer warriors but they are poor they are dying so they are bribing here and there but they will keep quiet and then come and make noise and then we have others who money is their obsession is their god they never even get it they are on their way to hell they trivialize every kind of thing let me tell you how to know a good church a man of god who has been given the gift of balance or knows how to outsource relevant people in the body of christ to create what his grace cannot provide is a good church to be part of 
Everybody say balance. Those of us here in ministry or trusting God for ministry, it must be your heartfelt prayer. Seek balance more than oratory. Seek balance more than oratory. The ability to speak grammar is nonsense if what you are giving people is rubbish. Balance. I will never pastor people who will be imbalanced. It's a covenant I made with God. I will teach you everything to build your life holistically. You, will, you can be a prayer warrior, a miracle worker, a man of character, a billionaire, a kingdom addict. That's right. That's how it should be. He said, come and I will show you the lamb's wife. He said, and he showed me a city equal in length, equal in breadth, equal in height. No exaggeration. That's the lamb's wife. Any other thing is not the lamb's wife. So there are many of us seated right now. We are victims of the imbalance of many sincere men and women of God whose messages we have listened to. Are we together now? Maybe they have been your pastors growing up. Maybe they are your mentors and spiritual fathers and whatever it is. And I love the body of Christ, but you have to be careful. There is no single man who has the blueprint of all the dealings of God. We see in part and we prophesy in part. So I must be able to have the unashamedness to let you know as a body, although functioning in the office of the apostle, that, that office gives me the privilege of oversight of the dealings of God as revealed to a dispensation. But even at that, it cannot be in isolation. I'm a product of many anointings. I'm a product of many graces. I have sat down to pay attention to people. Some of them I don't even like, but I listen to them with an open heart to find out what dimension was committed to them. That's the secret of growth. This pride, this unilateral pride that you catch a dimension, you say, oh, for me, I've caught a dimension of kingdom wealth and prosperity. And when you hear them talking about the word of God, you say, no, 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 no. All I know is that I'm a businessman. It will land you in hot water. I'm a prayer warrior. Ah, this and that and that is prayer, prayer. I know prayer can do everything. And before you know it, you're like, do you know how many believers are frustrated? They don't just have the courage to come out. That's why our states, we left our states to the devil. That's what I was sharing with him when we we're coming. Most of the northern states are largely, they do not have adults who understand kingdom at the helm of government anybody does everything it came from the church it is that lack of teaching that can make any tom dick and harry get up and bring up any kind of thing against the church because there are no strategic people we are there wallowing away please pray i feel like we should pray and say lord i insist that my life will be balanced lift your voice i insist sharato sakataya lord where i've been a victim of imbalance or where I have communicated the same sincerely I pray that you help me please cry from the depth of your heart I receive grace for balance I receive grace for balance the Bible says all scripture not part all scripture not New Testament all scripture not Old Testament all scripture is God breathed all scripture inspired by the Holy Spirit and is profitable all scripture is profitable for reproof for correction for doctrine for instruction in righteousness all scripture all principles shared in the word of God are for the benefit of the church all scripture lift your voice and pray lord i close my heart to imbalance i open up my heart because i know that therein lies the key to my victory therein lies the key to my being useful to the kingdom i will not walk in the era of imbalance and i will not mislead multitudes pray correct my imbalance Correct my imbalance. It's made my children beg for bread. Correct my imbalance. 
it's made me rich but lukewarm spiritually correct my imbalance it's made me trivialize spiritual exercises correct my imbalance hallelujah please be seated matthew chapter 5 this is a very powerful teaching already matthew chapter 5 14 to 16 the words of jesus teaching at the beatitudes this is what jesus said ye are the light of the world jesus is speaking now how many of you know when jesus is speaking you listen to him greater than any prophet greater than any apostle past present future jesus the apostle of our faith he says ye are the light of the world you know i love jesus you know we never study what he really taught the people we just know he taught them we don't pay attention to what he taught them this is jesus now having a conference three days men were on the mountain hearing jesus teach and in one of his sermons this is what he told them ye are the light of the world then he says a city that is set on an hill cannot be hid next verse says neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel it says but on a candlestick and it giveth light to all that are in the house read on then it says permit your light permit your light permit the fruit of the illumination you said you fasted permit what came upon you from the fasting to so shine before men you claim you are titan permit the fruit to so shine before who not angels before men that they those men who have been mocking your god will see your good not good intentions replace the word good works with one word results let your light so shine before men that they may see your results right and then glorify your father see how god is glorified let men watch you from the beginning of your engaging the world usually they'll be laughing at you when you are doing it like noah noah being warned hebrews 11 being warned of rain he ran he trembled with fear gathered gopher wood for 100 years he was building they were laughing at him stupid man you just threw away your career just because you had the voice of a ghost but he was engaging it when the last animal entered god locked that door and the bible said the heavens released their water the earth released their water whoever was in between was a sign that he was disobedient the same way the bible says the heaven of many people will be brass and then under will be iron do you know what it means to stay in the middle of brass and iron that they may see your results god is interested listen please brothers and sisters your primary motivation behind getting results should not just be a pressure for achievement are we together now this is the mistake behind just um, now there is a place for motivating people don't get me wrong but this is the the mistake that many people make if the entire scope of your teaching is just to motivate people so you make them do great things for themselves when i realized that my success is also a message that enthrones christ i i stopped paying attention to only my secret place i started paying attention even to my results because both your personal growth and the results you produce the bible says it can glorify the name of christ when we heard all of them coming to testify i saw some of you standing i saw some of you clapping with all your heart jesus was being glorified they were thanking me but really jesus was being glorified are you seeing that now because something was taught they believed it they applied it it worked for them hearing is our father glorified pastor alpha when your results begin to glorify god so the way you glorify god is not just by singing alone you can sing songs but god wants your life please hear me everyone god wants your life to give him glory 
as a father by the time you have preached on the principles of fatherhood and then people watch your life your children are responsible are we together now there's food in your house you are not worse than an infidel because you can cater for your family you are responsible there's peace with your wife no boxing anybody in the name of that's how we do it in our village you see Christ is being glorified someone comes to your home and reads many scriptures without opening the Bible he knows that Jesus is the Prince of Peace has never believed a man and a woman can live for two years without quarreling and they are seeing it for the first time your light is shining before men they are seeing it and they are glorifying the recession has been whipping and biting people hook line and sinker when someone comes to your house and you hold the hands of your wife and say look let's quiz he's been crying the child is, is i mean there's a problem this child is about to be thrown from school how much is the school fees forty thousand okay take how much is your rent again One hundred and twenty thousand. okay the lord has led us this is one hundred and fifty thousand. and you say at this time of recession sorry is it borrow or give no 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 not borrow the lord bless you freely we have received from him freely we give madam are you in agreement absolutely i love my husband that person lives with that money and a message that recession is not a personal language there are people who have been exempted since it's not just this year they were exempted since are we together when people are dying left and right like chickens dying left and right like chickens you have a dream someone slaps you you wake up from your head to your toe is paralyzed the doctors check they tell you well something is wrong or nothing is wrong and then you are dying are we together now something is mocking God there and then all of a sudden you find out something in the world and you engage it and you clear that devil off your body are we together and you get up like our sister was standing strong you have demonstrated something the victory of Christ hallelujah you have won the victory hallelujah hallelujah you have won it all for me death could not hold you You seated in majesty. You are the reason, King. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. You have won the victory. after me when I produce results Jesus is glorified say it again when I produce results Jesus is glorified I want you to say it for the last time convincingly when I produce results Jesus is glorified let me tell you make no mistakes about the fact that God wants your life do you know how obsessed God is with results the two two expressions in the Bible showed that number one was the cursing of the fig tree he came because the tree is eating from the earth is that not true connected to the earth and it was green Jesus was hungry he ran there and found out the tree had been deceiving them and he said he cursed it and he said no fruit will grow from it again and by the next day it withered number one number two was in Matthew 25 he used a parable to show how that he does not waste resources he gave unto one five talents is that true two talents one the other foolish one said he went to bury it 
and then when jesus came instead of him to say i'm sorry i was careless add one more year and i will show you i'm serious he said i know you that offense is the hallmark of men who never get results they are angry at god and they are angry at those who are producing it so they create theological explanations to excuse they are not producing results i'm sure he had been saying let jesus come i will see when he came he said i know you you are a hard man you like reaping where you so it's me you are using as a donkey you see his mindset he was not a steward he wanted to be an owner i know you you want to use me to build your ministry so i decided that uh, i even am you are even lucky that i buried it here is your talent and he said depart from me he would have said depart from me lousy and proud man he said wicked one two unprofitable servant cast into outer darkness where there is crying and gnashing of teeth look how jesus is grave about a life that is barren in the physical when a man gets married to his wife especially in africa when they give you two weeks they have tried after two weeks everybody is looking is she coughing no then somebody will just joke and say we are waiting for junior they are speaking a subliminal message after six months even the man the woman begins to be concerned are we together two years three years they now tell the man marry another wife in other words we hate unfruitfulness and in as much as you pay dowry for this woman return it and marry another woman that's how much in our culture we love results but when a life is barren we say it's the will of god and we create stupid explanations justified by scripture i've told you the bible is a prophetic book you can make it preach anything that's why you can find the bible in a herbal shrine and the man will open to something psalms 2 and say the lord will laugh and then after reading it now concoct the charm and say take it and, and watch it that is still a charm are we together now god is interested in your results please make no mistakes about it when you walk in divine health and the older you get the fresher you become god is glorified critics may not be glorified but god is glorified and how many of you know there is only one person you owe explanation to your life god not critics not those who understand you or not that's none of their that's their business god be glorified when other people they say um now young people are having high blood pressure and they test you and the doctor says it looks like you're a 10 year old child you say you are right doctor you are right age is just a number the word of god renews me is it not in your bible they that be planted in the house of god he said they shall flourish in the courts of our god in old age they shall be fat and flourishing not wrinkled and dying whipped by life no are we together how many young people in nigeria look at do you know um, i i sometimes do you know how people are suffering in nigeria right now and are you seeing how several of us preachers are so unconcerned about the plight of people we never bring relevant teachings that help to address their pain a man treks with his wife and five children loyal he's a sanctuary keeper in your church he treks with his wife from a place maybe like paladin and treks and comes and they are scrubbing the church with joy hoping that you would teach them what to bail them out and then you come up and trivialize their problems and say it does not matter the most important thing is that you serve god and god says no no you are making me selfish the kingdom works when you seek him first but then there is a provision for your welfare too otherwise why will we not call god selfish the theology that we propose if not well balanced will make god look like such a selfish god we may not have the courage to say but it looks like lord everything is about you so my whole life what is my own and god says i'm not like that i'm love while you were yet sinners i gave something for you if i offered my son will i not much more with him freely give you all things in other words if you are not getting it is your pastor it's not me joshua Selman is lying to you somewhere you go to churches and watch people come and meet the pastor and say pastor 
five of my children, their school fees are not paid. I love you. I'm the prayer band leader in my church. My rent has expired. And he looks, he says, look, that's not the issue. The most important issue is what shall separate you from the love of God. That's true. And after praying, because the pastor himself is not rich enough or too greedy to do it, he may have the money in his account, but he's too greedy to release 300,000 and will not teach the people what happens. Do you know, most times, this kind of wrong teaching, the only people who benefit are the pastors. Because at the end of preaching that error, I'm standing with a nice suit. There's food for me. Oh. I don't know whether there's food for you, but there's food for me after Koinonia this night. I don't know whether you people will be trekking, but all I know is that there is a car taking me home. Are you seeing that? I don't know whether you are going to be sleeping outside. I will be lying down under AC, enjoying myself. I must be a wicked man of God to be walking in that dimension and not respond to your pain. Who lives in Nigeria now and ignores the reality of the fact that people need the dimension of God that can respond to their succor. They call religion the opium of the masses. They call it a strategy to take advantage of the masses because it was wrongly communicated. Everywhere the gospel was received, it brought civilization. It not only built men spiritually, it changed their level. Say amen. Amen. I look at many of our mothers and some of our elderly people who are here and I look at the sacrifice they pay to wait this late. There are some of you as you are seated right now, you are young people, maybe just working or a student or a graduate, but your loved ones, five of them, they are depending on you to take care of them and you are not getting the key. The little 10,000 you are getting is pushing you and now pastor, because that's what we do as men of God, we now say there is a contribution. Everybody is going to bring seven, seven thousand. You have ten thousand. I forced you through messages and courses to bring three thousand, to bring seven thousand. The remaining three thousand, you are in trouble and you are dying. Edrimi, members are crying. A good shepherd lays down his life, does not keep his ego and allow people to die. Anybody who loves God and loves his people should, if you cannot give all of them money, share with them the principles. And let them know that when you rise out of recession, God is glorified. And they glorified God in Koinonia. God is being glorified in several ways. You come in, you find people inside and outside, thousands following online. People say it does not matter. God says it matters. It matters to me. Jesus, you be lifted higher, higher, be lifted higher. Jesus, you be lifted higher, higher, be lifted higher. Let our King be lifted up. King be lifted up to our lives. Let my King be lifted up. Oh, Write this down. Results are not accidental. Please write it down. We have agreed that it is important for our lives to bear fruit. We have agreed that our results glorify God. God is not only glorified in our worship and our sacrifices, which is important. He's not only glorified when we enthrone Christ at the seat of our lives. He's glorified when we bear much fruit. Write this down. Results are not accidental. Semicolon. They are the results of walking the mysteries of the kingdom. You have to write this down. Results are not accidental. They are the product of walking the principles, the secrets, the mysteries of the kingdom. Meaning results never happen. In business, results don't just happen. 
in marriage results don't just happen in education results don't just happen in ministry in leadership results do not just happen which which debunks the fallacy that has been proposed for many years in the church if god wants it done he would do it it looks spiritual but it's very dangerous the heaven of heavens belong to the lord the bible says says but the earth has he given to the sons of men and he gave them a command he says and he blessed them and saying be fruitful multiply replenish subdue have dominion so if anything is to happen in my life i must be a contributor to making it happen see let me tell you something admit this sincere truth and your life will change nothing of value is free nothing of value is free it is either paid by you or paid by someone for you nothing of true value bishop oedeko made this statement many years ago nothing of value nothing of value is free that's why you don't pay you pay school fees even for marriage as free as it is you pay dowry they write a list and give you even if it's your uncle that grew up with you every day and say uncle i've been looking at your daughter he says all right get a clean sheet of paper buy rice buy yam you would think you will be forgiven no no matter how much you are forgiving he will pay in kind in cash or both nothing of value is free meaning if you are not ready to pay the price for your success forget about it there is a price please understand this don't let anybody indoctrinate you into believing your life will change in the sweet by and by there is a price for the outcome of your life what you see today by the grace of god was intentionally done there's nothing accidental about what god is doing by his grace and there are many men and women here by the grace of god i had the privilege to see their lives i saw them engage these things and i see the results that are speaking now say my results must speak say it again my results must speak results are not accidental they are a product right you must engage something engage something you must do something there is always something to do good master what should i do to be saved that's the freest thing we know in the new testament salvation but here's how a man got it good master what should i do believing is doing something believing is not cheap it takes it takes the labor of the word for a man to believe as free as believing looks you have to get it good master what should i do to be saved that's a good businessman no wonder he was rich what should i do the poor one just had mercy on me but the wealthy man knew he must do something he must engage something Psalm 25 verse 14 what is what how are results produced what is really the mystery behind results in the kingdom please write this down results are produced when we have access to and understand secrets comma mysteries principles results are produced when we have access to and understand secrets mysteries principles the laws of the kingdom were designed to reflect the justice system of god and the bible says righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne righteousness and justice at the foundations of his throne so the bible says this david a man who was a mighty man never conquered in any war great man did several great things for the kingdom this is what he has to say the secret of my exploit is that the secret of the lord is with them that fear him and he will show them his covenants ah, there are secrets 
brothers and sisters how many of you have a Jimmy's wife is here excellent excellent um, baker confectionery person she can make anything cake if you want her to draw your face she can draw it on the cake I mean anything at all you want her to draw koinonia she can draw it on the cake absolutely fantastic but do you know that if I meet hope now and I say hope show me how to make cake she will show the general thing because I'm not serious most likely because I didn't pay for it as she's talking I'll be answering the question I say sorry sorry this, that's the teacher so she keeps those things as secrets and there will be a condition for her to reveal it it's worthy of being revealed but not to everybody so God hid certain things they are not in the outer court he calls them secrets there are things that are at plain sight you see it but there are things you will read your Bible and never see it they are called the secrets of the Lord the Bible says they are with them that fear him and he will show you so God will call you like a conference room you know how you meet a millionaire and he says you've served well come I will take you to a room you've never gotten to and I will show you brothers and sisters you see this my life it's a product of this secrets mysteries God will take you and tell you look this is what produces this when you do this it will happen when you do this this is how Satan will strike forget about him just do this one and it will take care of him you rise up from those secrets and say I have it look when you say you have dominion it's not that you are a talkative dominion means you are privy to an understanding the American president moves. You don't see him moving with bullet around. Try to shoot him before your gun gets there. You are dead. Because there is a secret. You don't know. There is something about U.S. intelligence that is beyond the plain sight. You insult him in the secret. Someone knocks your door and says you are needed in the police station. You say, me? What did I do? You say, well, just you, you will find out. Because there is an intelligence system. Do you teach Americans U.S. intelligence? No. They are Americans, but they don't have access to that intelligence. There are people who are taken to a camp that is never shown on TV. And they train them rigorously. There's something they call war college in Nigeria. Is that true? They take men there. Only God knows what happens. Just like there are secret prisons. When you are a capon and you are a nuisance to society, they drag you. It's inside the river. The prison is inside the river. You escape is still the same thing. You die there. Are we together? The secret things. Brothers and sisters, what do you know that gives you confidence? Don't do bold face before life if you are not holding anything. Don't stand before Pharaoh if you have not seen the burning bush. You will die like a chicken. Hallelujah. Let me show you something. Please sit down. Job 29. Long reading. 4 to 20. Please. Are you learning something this night? Results are predictable. Results are not accidental. Seeing then that God is glorified when my life produces results. Then I must pay attention to the principles and the mysteries that are responsible for producing those results. Here's what Job said. Job. He said, as I was in the days of my youth. Huh? read on when the the secret of the Lord there was a time I was a poor young man and God I did something that made God come to me and he said Job come let me show you something let me show you what makes people influential and he showed him he said the secrets of God was upon my tabernacle like a library that you read let's see the effects of his access to that secret reading down to 20 quick reading please media help us verse 6 he says help help him please when i wash my steps with butter what brought that effect secrets and the rock poured out rivers of oil the rock does not oil, but there is a mystery that makes it happen when i went out to the gates holding these mysteries brothers and sisters he said when i prepared my seat in the street eight the young men saw me accessing this mystery and the bible says they hid themselves they said this guy is not a normal human being what is he trading on that is producing these supernatural results 
and the aged arose and they stood up do you know what it means for an elderly person to stand up before a child remember as a young man the princes refrained from talking and laid their hands on their mouth verse 10 the young men saw me and hid themselves uh, you are going back again please help us the nobles held their peace and their tongue cleaved to the roof of their mouth uh -huh. when the ear heard of me it blessed me brothers and sisters this is what happens to a man who accesses this thing any man and when the eye saw me it gave witness to me next verse because I delivered the poor that cried. When God was teaching me those secrets, he showed me something. So every time I saw the poor, I didn't sympathize with them. I delivered them. There was something I did to the poor. The fatherless and him that had none to help him. Uh huh. The blessing of him that was ready to perish came upon me. Someone was about to die till I showed up. I did something and he blessed me and i caused the widow's hearts to sing for joy 14. i put on righteousness and it clothed me my judgment was as a robe and a diadem i was eyes to the blind and feet was i to the lame uh-huh i was a father to the poor and the cause for which i knew not i I was humble is part of the reason why I was great every time I saw result and I did not see it in my life I didn't argue and explain it away I humbled myself like a scientist and I searched it out 18 okay 17 and I break the jaws of the wicked and pluck the spoil from his teeth that's authority brothers and sisters when I searched it out I found something that granted me access to break it in the, and then i said i shall die in my nest in peace and i shall multiply my days as the sand part of the secret something was shown to me of how a man can live a fruitful life and how i can add to my days hezekiah did it there was something he touched that multiplied his days that means there's something you can touch that will shorten your days you are supposed to live 100 you do something it takes it to 85 some of us now have done it to 40 you better learn what takes it back <laughs> learn what takes it back fast before you find out you have two more years you learn it that is in your bible please let's go back to 18 18 please right and i shall multiply my days i will do it Ah, like saying I will fry egg I will multiply my days see how we fear death yet a man was saying do you know in all of in all of Job's trouble he never talked about death in other words he knew that look look we are discussing life here it's just that this is the worst form of life but death is another law just leave that one these guys trivialized Satan they made nonsense of him our generation is so bankrupt of secrets so Satan masquerades as such a great man I always give this example have you seen someone lying somewhere saying his father is a director he's a ceo just because nobody who grew up with him knew him the moment he sees you coming and you know him you say this guy why are you here you are here to bust my tire now satan only talks when there are people with ignorance there are some of us when he sees us he will refrain because we know you are number one you are not omnipresent you are not omnipotent you are a liar you're a thief you work with people's minds if I, have, if I have a dream and I see somebody with gun wanting to shoot me and all these funny things, if I get up, I'm not even going to pray about it. Not because I'm just doing bold face. I understand that Satan, without the cooperation of your mindset, his hands are useless. If your mindset limits the word, why wouldn't it limit Satan? Your mindset limited the word of God. How much more Satan? So all, all those things are nonsense. You see, that revelation alone gives me sound sleep. If an owl is crying in front of my, my, my window, it can cry till morning. As far as I'm concerned, you're a creature. You're a creature. Whatever spirit is in you is not recognized. When an owl starts barking, then I'll come out and check because it's unusual. But for as long as you are doing what you are doing, I will sleep. 
Gone are the days you come out and say, in the name of this house, I'm tired of you. My root was spread out by the waters. Listen to this. And the dew lay all night upon my branch. 20. My glory Shabalakataya was fresh in me and my bow the symbol of my strength and authority was renewed this is a man who gave a secret and he said the reason why this happened was that the secrets of the Lord were upon his tabernacle Daniel chapter 2 Daniel chapter 2 a king had a dream forgot the dream and the interpretation and wanted to kill everybody because he was angry and something happened Daniel chapter 2 we're reading from verse 15 we'll jump 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 I'll show you the scriptures 15 so they were they were going to kill Daniel and his you know these friends and all of that and he answered and said unto Ariok the king's captain why is the decree so hasty from the king then Ariok made the, the thing known to Daniel the king was angry anybody who cannot tell me the dream I had I will kill him 19 and Daniel went in 19 19 then was the everybody says secret then was the secret revealed unto Daniel in a night vision and Daniel blessed the God of heaven read from verse 20 we'll continue so Daniel went to bed and saw that secret. Daniel answered and said, Blessed be the name of God forever, for wisdom and might are his. Next verse. Next verse, please. Down to 22. He, and he changed the times and seasons and removed kings and set up kings. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. 22. He revealed the deep and secret things. He knoweth what is in the darkness and the light dwelleth with him. That's the God we serve. And that's what he can do to men. Read 27 and 28. 27 and 28. I'm trying to show you these scriptures. Listen. Daniel answered in the presence of the king and said, The secret which the king had demanded cannot the wise men come out find out whether you are part of these people so you just know up hand that you will never find the secret of God it's not for wise men men in their wisdom the astrologers come out the magicians come out the soothsayers all these men cannot see it show on to the king 28 but there is a God in heaven hallelujah <laughs> ah, yeah. the native doctor cannot see it oh. he will claim he can see it because he will concoct charm and a voice will speak through the pot he will manipulate your mind into believing he's in absolute control Daniel said don't mind them they can't see it he said but there is a God in heaven and it is in his character to reveal secrets he revealed secrets and made known unto the king Nebuchadnezzar what shall happen in the latter days open my eyes let me see will you open my eyes let me see open my eyes let me see open my eyes is full of men and women who did ordinary things and then once and again certain strange men just appear and it's like a graph extraordinary exploits by the hand of God then you find ordinary men again then someone will show up in a generation then you find people doing whatever again and then you show up let me tell you something I have spent my life like an astrologer watching the stars I have spent my life searching out the mysteries of the kingdom since I found out that these were the things that were responsible for results 
I don't trust men. I don't trust their philosophies. Eighty percent of the knowledge circulated in the world is useless to your life and destiny and eternity. I don't trust them. I don't trust the things they say in the news. I go to the Word of God. Show me the mystery that will give me grace. Show me the mystery. Many people, let me tell you, before God granted me grace to walk in the anointing, there were many people who were talking about the anointing. When I looked at their lives, not to condemn them, I knew these guys were not, they didn't get this thing. But they would never understand. You can meet them and ask them, uh -uh, but why didn't this result happen? Instead of them to say, well, I don't know this far. They say, look, it's because of this. I didn't trust them. And I went to God. I said, Lord, there must be an answer. The thing I did not know, I searched out. I searched out. Lord, why are some people filled with the Holy Ghost and others not? Lord why can a preacher be so anointed filled with the Holy Ghost yet his church never grows why is it that people can do publicity put balloons and it will never happen Lord why is it that a man can serve you so much and yet be broke and worried about finances and God started referring me to his body various men and women who through their sacrifices have accessed these things Though we are few, we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river. Listen. Though we are few, that's what I want you to hear. We're surrounded by many. We're surrounded by many. Surrounded by many. Surrounded by many, they are all over. Your pride has stopped you from seeing them. We're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before. When people tell you they have not been sick in a long time, you don't believe it because you think it's a lie. No, 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 it's a lie. When people tell you they have not been broke, they will never be broke again. He says it's not true. You're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before. You are not the first to be attacked by witches. My father's mother, well, I don't know, they, they said she was a Christian. I know she was an idol worshiper. Praise God. Are we together? My father, not my relative. You see, when you hear people talk, you think they don't know witchcraft. Me that demons pressed personally, it's not like the one you are not seeing anybody, you are just feeling hands. I saw them, I they looked at me, I looked at them, they pressed me, shouted Jesus, nothing happened. I was still a preacher. I shouted Jesus, shouted blood of Jesus, it had no effect on them. But preachers told me, just shout Jesus, something will happen. I did it, nothing happened. The secrets of the Lord, there is more to that statement than just you have been shouting it nothing happened don't we have few <laughs> we're surrounded by many the same way the bible says they shall lay hands on the sick brothers and sisters be honest the last person you laid hands on what happened you lay, even you you were laughing at yourself but the Bible says if you do it, you see when the Bible tells you to do something and get results and you do it and don't get results, there is more to it. There is more to it. The same way you see someone driving, you think he's just putting gear and firing. You enter and the next thing you are in the hospital because it's more than what your eyes are seeing. Father, as I read scriptures, what am I not seeing? Open my eyes. See, when you carry the Bible just like a scientific book, bring ye all your tithes into the house and you have been tithing but nothing has happened because all you have been doing is giving God tight. See, let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. Your attitude is the tray upon which your tithe must be presented upon for to be accepted. A tithe can be rejected. There is an acceptable worship. Honor. An attitude so many people stand with their envelope you look at the preacher and you are angry lift it up father in the name of Jesus you just throw it inside the plate 
and you are angry. These wicked people, my tight. You, they say, did you tight? You say, yes. No, you didn't tight. You brought money to church. I guarantee you, you just gave tight. You didn't bring, you brought money to church. But there is somebody who goes with understanding. Lord, you brought this to me. First, I love you. Two, I'm obedient. I know you are not a liar. So I bring this with understanding. And you tight. Are we together now? With understanding. Do you know many people give? There are people who come to give, give here as if they are bribing. They just say, Apostle, God has blessed you. And then they are putting their hands in their pocket. And then they squeeze my hand and, want, and say, what is this? This is not a bribe. If you are giving, give it with understanding. Let me speak a word of prayer. Don't give as if you are bribing me. I'm not looking for the money. You see the attitudes we display. These are the things that disqualify our giving. A man preaches, you want to give him honorarium. You wait till he enters the car. Then you just look and say, sorry, pastor. And while other people are talking, you just say, take, 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 take. We're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before. It's time for you to start learning why these things are not working. Brothers and sisters, I've opened your eyes that there are secrets. There are secrets. There's a secret that brings a crowd to a ministry. The secret is not publicity. I, we have proven this with all humility and by the grace of God. If all you want to do is publicity, you will waste money on posters and flyers and balloon and everything. There is a secret. There's a secret to the miraculous. It's not just shouting, you know. A lot of people see us shout here and then they go to their ministries. They clash the cymbal. Everybody at the count of three, you're going to shout Jesus. One, like a champ. Two, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus. And everybody shout. And they're looking around. Say, we'll do it again. And then at the end, they say, okay, don't worry. You didn't fast. You didn't have unbelief. It's not in all those motions. There is more than meets the eye. Are we together? There are three areas I want you to contend to know the secrets. We're going to pray. Three areas. Especially in this season. God wants to be glorified through the church. Number one. Number one. The secret to accessing the presence and the anointing of God upon a man's life and upon a corporate body. The secret, the law that governs the manifestation of the presence of God and authentic unction upon the life of a man and upon a system. You must cry and contend to know the secrets that are responsible for this. Number two. Are you ready? You must find out the secret. Listen, please, very careful. The secret to living in divine health and longevity. Write it down. What is the key that governs not just divine health but longevity? There's too much fear of death. I began to study. There are seven things that I studied in my life. Trusting God for the secrets. But of these seven, these three are the ones the Lord revealed to me. And said, let my people get this knowledge. In these three areas. I show you the key to peace. Especially in these times of turmoil. Health and longevity. Is there a system in God where a man can walk healthy? Brothers and sisters, if I were pretending this thing, you will know by now. I can't be sick and come up here and act well. You will see it. You will know. You will know that this thing is a lie. I don't count. We have doctors all around. We've taught it here. We're a very responsible ministry. I've visited people in hospitals. But I'm saying don't be ashamed of your current understanding. But content knowing that there is a reality. If you don't believe there is a realm of health and wholeness, do you believe that there is an anointing to heal HIV? 
do you believe that the testimonies you've been hearing here that people have been healed of diseases that means you don't believe it are you seeing that now how can a man want the healing anointing and you do not believe divine health and longevity is true it means you are a liar you are only playing games if I sit down on a wheelchair for a number of years and one leg is not strengthened and they tell you I can stand up and then the leg will receive strength I say no 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 scientifically this is not working why should you be given a healing anointing to stand in a stadium and command people in wheelchairs where you have not seen you see some legs they cut someone else's leg to join in the current person's leg yet you believe he can walk oh come on I'm a believer oh. I'm a believer I'm a believer when you dwell in God's presence it's easy to believe when you keep listening to junks and nonsense you will be surprised how you will not believe God because when you talk all the people who are in your area you say no no you are being fanatical you will put these Christians but no 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 I am the way I am reality the truth anything that is not me is a lie I am reality longevity you need to live long listen listen do you know why many people fear death it's not because they are afraid of death in itself they are afraid because they cannot control it anything you cannot control you are afraid of you are about to travel some of you will be traveling tomorrow to various places you are sweating somebody says come and collect money in kaduna and return you say ah it's not worth it let me travel because of 40 minutes drive let me die send it through an account i will collect it somewhere i say my bank is not inside i say no problem just do it fear i refuse to fear in the name of jesus christ i refuse to fear there is a mystery that keeps men long number three wealth and prosperity kingdom wealth and prosperity you must study the secret of financial empowerment at a personal level and at a corporate level those of us who are pastors here in churches you must find out what is the key I've told you the key is not business the key is not business the key is not business business is an expression of what you know business is simply a platform that gives your understanding expression without that understanding the platform is useless the key is not business the key is an understanding a construction first in your spirit and then your understanding and then all the physical avenues are simply platforms whether job business whatever you call them do you believe what i'm sharing with you or are you still arguing it like many people will argue and say it does not work by god's grace i have paid the price to study these things in my own personal life i still am studying them but to an extent i have seen the hand of god and to an extent we have seen this even in this ministry i hate speaking sometimes because of this because people who don't understand think we are boasting and all of that no we will never beg as a ministry till jesus comes never there's no need we'll be wicked if we do so because he has been faithful too faithful too faithful our dinner is on sunday there is recession melting people down yet we are celebrating our workers and we are doing it with all gladness when we shared we looked at the budget of the dinner some of the people even the leaders some of them were a bit surprised a budget that can build house for somebody you are now using it to eat in one night that's what happens when you pay attention my son pay attention to my words incline your ears to my sayings do not let them depart from you that's somebody's salary for many years spent in one night to tell workers thank you recession is hitting hard and melting down we have never stopped transporting people we don't boast to have arrived but it's a sign that this thing works i'm saying this to encourage you that it can work brothers look at me there is this plague that is sweeping nigeria and sweeping young men young men are afraid 
young men that are supposed to be bold you go to school and struggle for years but you are still moving around as if you've never seen the wall of a school why because of fear fear looms many young men what will i do someone sent me a text i think it was day before yesterday that he doesn't know why he married i said what is what is the meaning of that you are sending a text you don't know why you married yet the recession has not started This thing has been prophesied by several men of God. I say it, I, I listen to the messages, I prophesied it. I told you people, those who are announcing that it's going to come and be over. I respect every, I don't condemn any man and any ministry. But brothers and sisters, I tell you the truth by the grace of God. It is not going to end. Not soon. I guarantee you. It will be worse. I have seen it with my two eyes like I'm seeing you. But upon them that fear my name. The son of righteousness shall arise with healing in his wings. Therefore shall you discern between them that fear God and them that feareth him not. There is a difference. Hallelujah. We we'll keep rising from glory to glory. May you never lack food to eat in your house. That you have to carry a plate to move around and beg for rice. There is a way you come out. Or that you sit down and you are saying, ah, somebody, a devil just cheaply appears in your dream. Fires an arrow to your body and you wake up the next day. And all of a sudden, you know you are going to your grave. Let me speak to someone here. You are having dreams, dead men, dead things. You are quietly sleeping, they are feeding you in the night. Whether you want to eat or not. All those things, let me tell you, there is a place for deliverance. But the greater part of deliverance is access to understanding you know i told you these things happen to me most preachers will lie to you and say it didn't happen most people will tell you lies and say it happened to me brothers and sisters i sleep in the night they press me once it's night night i get afraid do you know it was so bad eh, Jimmy? i can hear people talking physically but i can't wake up no, I can't wake up. So you are not the first it's happening to. The day I caught the light, I ran, I ran from maybe you here to BZ. And I stood outside and I begged the spirit to come. I didn't cast it. I begged it to come. I cast it in Zaria. It goes to another city. When we go, I drive it from there. You play ball with the spirit. City to city. That's what light does. But many people will not get the light. And then they say, in the name of Jesus, I won't dream. You even fast as you are rounding the last fast in ignorance. Then they come. You see, the devil can make nonsense. You think I don't know. That's the experience of some of us. Three days dry. The first day, nothing happens. The second day, he says, walk, you know. And then the last day, as you are saying, amen. You just drink orange and sleep. Just orange. And there they come. <laughs> they rubbish your three days fasting. So you now get up and say, Kai. This man must be using charm. This thing is not only fasting. There, there must be something. There is a key. Or you now carry your Bible and put it in your pillow. Right? Carry oil and put sign of the cross on your head. I'm not mocking you. No, I'm, 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 not, I'm not mocking you. Anything done without revelation is nonsense. You can even play koinonia message while he's playing you are sleeping nothing works in itself it is engaged hallelujah praise the lord i remember when i was studying some of the things that god has helped me know now do you know i arrogantly argued with some of them because in my little mind then i felt no these things are not the way when some of these generals wrote these things and i looked at them i said is it really this thing it's not it doesn't match how foolish i was now i look and i i truly see that i deserved where i was if i had known the things that i knew now maybe a few years earlier than i knew them i probably would have been 10 times better than i am and that time sadly there were not many people around who had really gotten this keys everybody was trying some of us had the privilege to be the ones leading people and so as you were leading you were just hoping you were right May you walk with accuracy. That if you receive a text now, listen, you receive a text now as I'm speaking, and someone says, We're waiting for you in front of your house. 
you must die this night you will see us but we have said something good day some people will just say i feel like praying around here that's what i used to do hallelujah a gentleman went to steal recently in my house he got charm from zaria city tied it got charm tied it they still caught him can you imagine while koinonia was going on he was trying to steal they still caught him he shall put his angels charge over you they shall bear thee up on their wings lest you dash your feet against a stone i know you don't believe it you just say oh yes yes but you must believe it and say this is true so a man looks at you and threatens you and say if both of us wake up tomorrow you must die and you say you know you will sleep too abby tell him the person boasting you are not doing night vigil you too you will be you will be sleeping for six hours you will not know what is happening where is the angel of death that swept over arrogant egypt and some people did not wake up any man playing with your life and prophesying to you is playing with death in the name of the lord jesus christ don't fear men don't let any man threaten you because of anything you threaten god's elect he suffered no man to do them wrong yea he reproved kings for their sake saying touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm brothers and sisters you are immune but this thing is not just hearsay please every lady lay your hands on your womb prophesy to yourself in one minute and say me and barrenness are like the east and the west we will never meet go ahead and pray there's a reason why i'm saying that lay your hands on your womb and prophesy no barrenness don't let anybody tell you oh it's because everybody is eating spaghetti now we are eating this and cancer is multiplying fibroid is multiplying cause it god is glorified in my body i have no business with barrenness this womb will carry boys and girls prophesy to yourself don't call what they call conspiracy conspiracy hallelujah brothers lay your hands on your head and say the secrets of wealth must come upon me lift your voice and pray in one minute lord you are showing me the secrets god is giving me a great ministry there's much to do for the kingdom i don't have the time to be thinking about money no it's a cost I don't have the time to leave my assignment leave everything money 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 grant me grace to get this key and move on to do important kingdom things in my life can't spend 60 years of my life just daydreaming and being obsessed about money carnality over money show me the keys let me not put anybody's daughter on that trouble. Let me not raise children and punish them because of ignorance. Please pray. You will thank me for what you are doing today. Lord, I'm tired. This thing has a way. There is a way out. Show it to me. There is a way out. Oh, there is a way out. Hallelujah. Now, everyone, I want you to pray while you are seated. We'll soon stand up. But I'd like you to command every area of your life that has not been working. Don't just command it to work. Say, Lord, the secret to make it work, please show me. Even if it's something that has been taught, but my eyes have not seen, show it to me. Sato Sabalakata. My spiritual life is going down and down and down. I can't pray for 10 minutes. I've tried and tried and tried. There is a devil somewhere trying to stop me lord what is the secret to a consistent prayer life what is the secret to a consistent word life i'm tired of this not studying the word i've been lying to people that i study my bible i know i'm not studying it i don't have an appetite for god something is wrong show me the secret i pray and nothing happens i say the same thing anointed people say but nothing happens what is the key to the anointing coming into my life let me speak and let there be results for your glory pray 
for your health. Lord, I'm tired. I've spent over 100,000 on my body this year. I've spent over 500,000. I don't even know what is wrong with me now. I know you desire to be glorified in my body. I'm tired of being afraid of death. I'm a man of God, but I fear death. I'm a woman of God, but I fear death. I fear assaults of terrorism. I fear accidents. I fear the operations of witches and wizards. There's something I need to know. I'm tired of living in fear. Pray. Pray. I'm tired of going to my village because I think I will not come back 2017. I'm tired that they may charm me. Oh, give me access. Give me access. Give me access. Sato Kapai. Access, pray. Suparika tekete rakoshala lekaria soto baria tabala tabala ba. Longevity, Lord, let me be as as confident as I am sitting on my seat to know I will live long. Let me be confident. And the secret was revealed to Daniel and the secret was revealed to Daniel and the secret was revealed to Daniel finally pray I must break the back of poverty is my agreement with God is my covenant with God to the fourth generation no one has prospered in my family until they serve idols i will not serve idols and i will prosper for the glory of the name of the lord i will not serve idols and i will prosper i will not bribe and i will prosper i will not cheat and i will prosper i will not play fraudulence and i will prosper there is a secret that must be shown to me I know I'm a young man, but I must prosper. Employment or no employment, recession or no recession, there is a secret. Show it to me, oh God. Now jump on your feet and pray for any other area that has refused to walk. I challenge you, show me the secret. Why have I not entered a relationship, oh God? Why are men running away from me? Show it to me. So when I gather, it scatters. When I gather, it scatters. Show me why, although I've been delivered, I'm still seeing family patterns in my life. The failures of my father's house is still reflecting in my life, although I'm praying in tongues. For the next three minutes, pray in the spirit, blasting tongues. Something must open in the heavens. Something must open. Lord, I must deliver my family. I must deliver my lineage. Tired of poverty. Tired of struggling. Tired of a resultless Christian life. Tired of a life barren of the anointing. Lord, it's not working in my life. I have to admit it this night. Pray, it's not working. Why is it not working? Why is it not working? Why is it not working? I knock on the gates of heaven. I demand an explanation. Nobody is rising in my family. Nothing is working. They serve you, yet no door is open. Oh, pray, pray, don't be tired. 
Embretoska praska lekete Shakata praska lekato shakalika Embreso sete lekete Mambro zekete kelebo soto balara 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 Hallelujah. Hearing is my father glorified. When you bear much fruit. Listen. Listen. I want you in the next one minute to pray violently. Knock on the door that controls results. And say Lord for your glory is my, is my turn to testify. I told you nothing happens. For everyone that asked it, receive it. Lord, I've never really had a testimony this year. Why is that so? No one has favored me. No door has opened. No deliverance has happened. Hallelujah. 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 I want you to pray and knock on the door of heaven. Your heart is already right with God, I know that. But I want you to agree with God and say, Lord, between now and Christmas, when we celebrate your coming, can you give me a reason to praise your name this year? I tell you, if you, if you obey this instruction and pray with your heart, you will be surprised what my God will do. Lift up your voice and pray. Lord, I agree with you. Shapata. Open strange doors. Open strange doors. Open strange doors. Open strange doors. Ay, 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 ay. Open strange doors. Open strange doors. Open strange doors. Do it for your glory. Surprise my father. Surprise my mother. Surprise them. I intercede for them. May the angel of your presence reach them. Give them a miracle. Let that cancer be healed. Let that HIV be healed. Let that barrenness be broken. Let her take in before Christmas. Having a child already in a womb. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everyone shout this after me in the name of Jesus. I decree that every force in the heavenlies programmed a sign to stop results from manifesting in my life to discourage my Christian life I challenge you by the blood of Jesus lift your voice and pray ancestral powers yokes spirits ordinances written in the heavenlies Projected by witchcraft and wickedness. 
to stop my life from glorifying God, to stop results from happening in my life, I challenge you. I challenge you. I challenge you by the blood of the eternal covenant. Hallelujah. Let's take one more prayer point. I want us to release the ministry of angels. Listen. The Bible says, are they not ministering spirits? Let me tell you, hear me. Angels are real. I see them all the time. You will be foolish to believe angels are not real. Not everybody here seated physically in Koinonia is a human being. I have seen them many times as I preach. They sit down like human beings. They are not human beings. I'd like you to pray. Say in the name of Jesus. See, some of you are still joking. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I am an heir of salvation. Therefore, I decree and I deploy the ministry of angels to every area of my life to war a warfare until I become victorious lift your voice and pray I release their ministry release my helpers to come into my destiny release favor I release angels over koinonia the angels assigned over koinonia we release you by the word of god the angels assigned over god's people we release you we release you we release you we release you in the name of jesus Bring miracles, bring signs, bring wonders. Hallelujah. We're out of time, but let's pray. The Holy Ghost is asking me that we challenge the spirit of fear. Look at me. Listen, let me tell you something about the spirit of fear. I tell you, fire is burning in this place. Listen, fear is a dangerous spirit it stops you from taking god seriously when god speaks fear exposes you to the obvious limitations it's not that they are not there the obstacles are there but god's word does not explain it creates god will not tell you how by next week you will be holding a million in your hand don't be stupid and say, God, how will it happen? Who do I know? Blessed is she that believes. He said, for unto her, there shall be a performance. Fear of death. Listen, fear of failure. Fear of not having the money to feed yourself. Do you know it's fear that makes people do all kinds of foolish things? You are afraid before you know it, you sell your phone because you want 10,000 in your pocket the 10,000 finishes you sell your trouser people sell all kinds of things people have converted and have left God because of fear in the name of Jesus I challenge the spirit of fear over my life over my family over my loved ones over koinonia i declare in the name of jesus you are banished from my life forever lift your voice and pray there's no fear there's no fear i refuse to fear say unto the righteous it shall be well say unto the righteous koinonia are you praying tonight don't look around pray say unto the righteous it shall be well say unto the righteous it shall be well fear of marriage fear of children fear of terror
terrorism. after me in the name of Jesus father every prophecy you spoke over my life from January till now that has not happened I want you to know that I still believe you and I agree with you that between now and December 25th I must receive that testimony. Lift your voice and pray. I wrestle with prophecy. I agree. I agree. You said you will heal my father. I still believe. You said you will heal my mother. I still believe. You said you will prosper my business. Prosper my ministry. I still believe. Please lift your hands. I want to pray for you. Listen. The Bible says, and it came to pass. Watch this. As they... This is the dynamics. Listen. I want to explain something powerful here. As they... They were... That means their being cleansed was tied to their going. As they... They were... This sign shall not go before. If you prove God sent to start moving. And he said the signs, the signs will follow those who can act. This is why we are here tonight. Hallelujah. Just one last scripture and then we'll pray. Goodness, my spirit is fired up. John 9. Let's look at one example of one blind man. John 19 verse 1 to 8 but we'll just look at verse 7 Jesus came look at me there are so many interesting people that do lots of things in church do you know that there are people that when they come when hands are about to be laid on them they say don't lay hands on me just speak you are a sick patient the doctor said turn for injection you say I don't like injection walk out of the hospital as simple as that when there's a way the sickness will press you that even if the syringe is the type they give a cow you say just give me when you still have options you are not yet pushed to the world look let me tell you there is a way life will push you to the world that you must react are you getting my point Verse 7, are we there? John, what did I say? John 9, not 19, 9. Listen, look up please. Let me just tell the story quickly. Remember the man who was born blind. The Bible says Jesus spat on the floor, correct? And he started making clay. I can imagine, well the man could not see. Now watch this. Hiya. I love Jesus. Jesus inspires me. I'm telling you. He said unto him. To who? The blind man. Jesus was not talking to the person who was holding his hand. He spoke to the blind man. He said, oh God, go. Wash in the pool of Siloam. Which by interpretation is sent. And the Bible says he went his way therefore. And washed and returned seeing. How will Jesus speak to a blind man? Oh yeah, I've done my own part. If you like, sit down here for one week. If you are interested, go and watch. Remember what the prophet told Naaman. He said, go to Jordan and bath. While he was giving all those confessions, I will not go. I will go. I will not go. He said, continue. If you want to manifest faith, carry two of your legs, march to Jordan. He was saying, are there no other river? This is, many people think it just stops at talking. 
talking, talking. Naaman was talking, rapping, standing in front of Elijah's. He didn't even come out. He said, Tell him, go and wash and do it seven times. He went there. It was a very muddy water. Hallelujah. Bath the first time, nothing happened. He was getting angry, but when the word is fulfilled, God is committed. I can imagine the Holy Ghost just roaming around that pool. Number two, he could not move because until your obedience is complete. Number three, the guy could not move. At a point, he would say, oh God. He said seven times, seven, seven. That was the word. Number five, he would have just left and gone back and the Holy Ghost would say two more times for my spirit to come in. Listen, the Bible says the moment he entered the seventh time, he just came out and he saw his skin that means the holy ghost was waiting anxiously you do your part you do your part and see the power of the highest you do your part and see that cancer melt you do your part and see that curse broken in your family hallelujah at the beautiful gate there was a man there the Bible says he begged for arms. Is that true? Peter and John went to pray at the hour of prayer. And the Bible says he was begging them. He was not begging to stand up. Because he did not believe. Are you getting me? So he had no reason to take action. Because he was not convicted. But Peter did something. Because faith comes by hearing. When you hear of someone's ability. He said, Mr. Man, I don't have money to give you. But there is something I have in the name of the lord jesus if you believe i have this he said stand look up the man sat down there and was looking at them and was wondering and peter remembered the teachings of jesus and the bible says peter held his hand and said stand up and the bible says he leaping he leaping he leaping the holy ghost was moving peter get this man to take a step In every area of life listen there is a role you have to play are you getting me there's no time I would have shown you how that for every area of your life when the word came in Samaria by this time tomorrow nothing happened but the power of God was moving waiting for those who would take action all the people in the land including the emojis did not go and the spirit of god went to four lepers they said we will stay here and die we are lepers but let's stand up the bible says when they went the, the enemy started hearing the sound this is the amplification of the spirit the sound of chariots until there is action you are not manifesting faith if you can get this teaching tonight by the time you are coming for february miracle service you'll be shocked because see this as simple as what i'm sharing is this is the missing link you are praying and fasting but you have not found out the conditions for prosperity it's not demons it will not change till the day you find out and walk in it are you getting what i'm saying there are keys that's your part when you see listen I submit to you with all humility are you seeing this crowd that are gathered they did not come by magic if you think it's by magic try it people are not idiots are you getting my point I said by with all humility I hope it doesn't look like I'm bragging I'm just trying to communicate a point do you know what it means for people to come and sit on the fence sit everywhere there are keys if you don't have it you don't have it but when you find it i can imagine the holy ghost based on the conviction he gave us while we started preparing as decoration was working the power of god said now you are responding based on what you believe i'll do tonight therefore let me begin to bring all the people to honor the word don't you see that this is how faith works listen there are many people who will never marry because they are waiting until the day a sponsor or a donor gives them two million god has spoken to you marrying you how much do you have hundred thousand 
but God said start moving he said hey Lord I, this girl's parents the way they looked at me that day what is your business this sign shall follow the moment you are going your uncle starts calling and says I just felt like calling you he did not just feel the Holy Ghost the one who confirms the word hallelujah listen the sister who gave a testimony about the change in her result imagine if they prayed for her now a prophetic word had come is that not true she sat down she said Lord I believe your word what did she do she got up as she was did you see that when they checked they did not find a paper but God said am I too small and you just dropped the paper on the table did you not hear the testimony listen when you play your part I'm telling you in an inexplainable way God is committed and tonight I want you to know that your part is to have come see I tell people with all humility that for coming to this ground alone is already 50% of your problem so you know why hold on if you know the demonic forces that as many people hear what happened this morning and the way the devil tried to stop them from coming many of you will agree with me that things came up some of you didn't even have money but you said if it means trekking I will trek while you were trekking the Holy Ghost was saying mark them mark them practitioners of the world they must be blessed tonight some of you came outside and you still sat down your friend said let's go back you said I'm not going back you can go but this night although I'm outside my ministry must change my business must change this cancer must die rise up on your feet everybody go ahead and pray in tongues in one minute God is about to do mighty things in this place rise up on your feet everybody Lord I believe Lord I believe I'm convinced that you are able You can change my story in a few minutes, the Lord will do mighty things in this place. In a few minutes, the Lord will do mighty things in this place. In a few minutes, the Lord will do Change stories tonight. I have come tonight. Hallelujah. 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 Please listen to me. I tell you the truth. I came here tonight with a very unusual unction. I know the things that I've been the head of department prayer band. He even sensed it. I remember he sent me a text. Hallelujah. When the Holy Ghost is in a place, nobody can tell the extent of devastation he can do to the kingdom of hell. Hallelujah. Inside and outside, no matter how far you are, make sure tonight, as you hear the word, listen, I don't know the issue that you came here with. I can only communicate the few because of time constraint and because we see in part I must not mention your case are you getting what I'm saying this atmosphere carries an anointing so no matter how far 
no matter what the issue is it will bow it will bow tonight hallelujah listen listen as i begin to rebuke sicknesses we're going to be very fast we don't have time for a lot of things hallelujah god has showed me that there will be dramatic dramatic instant healings dramatic instant healings now listen please when we begin to pray i don't know if we'll call the people out and lay hands or whatever it is we will do make sure remember the teaching you must take action you must take action that action look at what our mommy shared remember the, the the testimony our mommy shared do you know that we brought i sent that they should bring a seat for her what? she refused as a proof to the devil are you getting my point that that i may be old but i'm well Are you ready to drop those chains now there is no need please hear me there is no need tonight to walk away with whatever situation for there is a name there are families represented here tonight tonight you will pass the red sea and you will part with egypt forever There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. Higher. It's time for people's lives to change. Break every chain. Break every, Break every chain. Break every chain. Hallelujah. There are families under bondages yokes there are many of us who have come under spells it's time for us to check those devils out of the lives of people because the bible says upon mount zion there shall be deliverance and holiness and the sons of jacob shall possess their possession Hallelujah. I tell you if you see what the lord is showing me in the spirit goodness the devil is in trouble this night lift your hands brothers and sisters thank you father please lift your hands inside and outside hallelujah hear me wherever you are the power of god is going to begin to move across the crowd and everywhere you are there is a name tonight that is above every demon every yoke every spell and at the mention of that name devils will leave hallelujah hallelujah at the count of three wherever you are goodness there will be so much deliverances outside listen as i count three i want you to shout that name that's your action of faith at the top of
of your voice and we will begin to command this wicked spirit already the power of God is moving are you ready now one two three I call spirits, I call devils, devils, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out, now, come out, go cross the posa, outside, outside, the fire of the Holy Ghost, bring them out, bring them out, the fire is falling outside. Lift up your head, all ye gates. I command spirit, devil. Let those people go now. Bring them out, bring them out. Hey! Outside, the fire of God is falling. The fire of God is falling. Outside, the fire of God. Every yoke, every curse, every covenant, every ordinance of darkness. Help the ushers, please. If they need more people, help them. Let's save time. Let's save time. We don't have time, please. The power of God is falling outside. Falling outside, falling outside, every spell, hallelujah. Just those outside, lift your hands. The first overflow and the second, both of you lift your hands. At the count of three, I want you to shout, Jesus, there will be a rain of deliverance. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Hallelujah. Hush. Please follow me. We have to hurry up. Listen. Goodness. There are people here. Listen. You can't sleep sound in the night. Someone must come and sleep with you or oppress you. There are people who see snakes. This lady is one of them. Let her go. Come out now. Out. Out. Upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance. Her praise Kabbalah. Out. Hallelujah. Now listen, please. Please, let's hurry up. Just follow me. Just keep bringing them. Goodness. There are so many angels outside. Capren de Gambo. There's no hiding. Not in the light of God. Second in Terekaba. Let her go 
alone now. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, I challenge you right now in the name of Jesus. Break everything up. Out of her now. Now. Come out of her right now. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Out of her right now. Let her go now. Hey, now. now. Break Listen, listen, many of you don't know why, listen. Hear me, please listen. Let's hurry up. Do you know that behind the situation of many people are the workings of these wicked spirits? Listen to me, please. Don't let anybody fool you. There are some of you, you may not need to fall, but deliverance is already happening to you. So don't you think it's just those that come out? No. Once the word goes, some of you are already feeling things leaving you. Look, look at this girl for instance. You really believe a lady will have this strength? Three people holding her. Wickedness is real. Leave her alone. On your knees and out of her. Quickly, just leave her. On your knees and out of her in the name of the Lord Jesus. Watch the power of faith, all of you. Watch those. No, don't worry. Don't concentrate on her when she does it. Leave her alone. Listen. Listen. You see why it's good to be spiritual? Because now, one brother will just get up and come. You don't know where you are I'm not talking about her now. Please. Nobody should stigmatize her. Are you getting my point? One brother just comes and bounces. You don't know what is happening around the spiritual arena of somebody's life. You come and enter into something that will whip out. Look at, she cannot even go out. Look at, she's standing at the door. She can't even cross the door. She will go on her knees. Don't worry. You will see the authentic power of the Holy Ghost. Listen. Brothers and sisters, hear me. Behind the pain of many families is the operation of darkness. Are you getting what I'm saying? Many of our families, some of you as you are standing here, don't think God is visiting you alone. You should understand us here. Your salvation is not complete until your household is touched. These are the spirits. That's why you try and try. You keep doing. This is what has stopped the admission of others. This is what has stopped the marriage of others. This is what has killed the destiny of many people. But tonight, you will part ways with it forever. Now I want to pray. I see a lot of, many of you will be surprised what will happen now. Hallelujah. There are so many people that are tormented in their dreams. Listen to me. You can't have a sound sleep. But you see people come. Animals chasing you. All kinds of devilish demonic things. Snakes. Some of you having intercourse with all kinds of people. Whether a man, whether a woman. When you are about to go for a job interview. These things happen to you and that's the end of it. It doesn't matter what happens tonight. There will be a separation once and for all. Lift up your hands again. Please lift up your hands. Let's hurry up. Whether they are causes, whether they are yokes, whether they are manifestations of spirit husband, spirit wife, wherever that devil is, as you shout Jesus, I see fire. Fire will move from inside to outside and many people will be delivered right now 
at the count of three are you ready thank you father let your fire move right now one two three go 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 spirit husband spirit wife demons of darkness ancestral forces go 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 serpents scorpions marine spirits out 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 by the fire of the holy ghost for all these people outside i'm speaking to the spirits now at the count of three the fire of god burns you out of these people every spirit hear my voice i speak from the realm of the spirit right now the fire of the holy ghost one You go and return no more. Leave them. Leave them. Go and return no more. Hallelujah. Now listen. Listen to me. Listen to me. Hallelujah. Peptic ulcer. Peptic ulcer. You have peptic ulcer. Lay your hands on your chest right now. Quickly, please. Please, let's save time. Peptic ulcer. God is healing peptic ulcer now. Now, I don't know if we have all the time. Hallelujah. We want to take a few instant testimonies. 
some of these people when they stand up from being delivered many of them will stand up with all kinds some of them are having visionary experiences right now i hear the chains falling falling yeah. i hear the chains i hear the chains oh she back at take it i hear the chains Seco I give the chance. Now listen. Listen. Let me explain this. We always do, but for the sake of those who are coming. Don't you think that those who are being delivered here are witches? Are you getting my point? Because as you are standing there, you are receiving your own deliverance. This is a family. This is an oppression of darkness. We don't want to know what the reasons are. They must go. Are you getting my point now? Peptic ulcer in the name of Jesus. God is going to heal peptic ulcer right away. Some of you, listen. Some of you will feel. Let me see how many people with peptic ulcer inside and outside. Just lift your hands. Let me know. All right, quickly. As I pray for you, for many of you, you will feel something lift off you. If that happens to you, run out quickly and come out. Run out quickly, please. Let's save time. In the name of Jesus, I'm seeing a lot of black substances around the chest of people. I cause that devil of ulcer. I command the wound heal now. Heal and close up now. Heal and close up now. Not later. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Regina. Regina. Who is Regina? Regina. Please, when I call your name, quickly, quickly, hurry up. Regina. The Lord, listen, the Lord is setting your family free from witchcraft. Are you hearing me? This is what God is doing. This lady is going to begin to cough out things. Please take her outside. Come. She's going to begin to cough out things. Out of her now. Take her outside, please. Please clean this up. The Lord is setting your family free. Look at me. You will begin to see dramatic things happen in your family because this has been the finger of darkness thank you jesus christ let there be healing let there be restoration in the name of jesus christ hallelujah now there's someone there's someone here you feel movement around your right leg you literally feel like an object like a snake moving around especially when you're on your bed who is that person the lord is revealing to me please quickly let's save time once i mention your case just come out quickly so that whether you are inside or outside let's just hurry up very quickly we don't have time goodness help us lord the devil is in trouble tonight <laughs> hallelujah thank you sir you are the person okay hold on you've been having this pain please tell us how has it been yeah it started from here listen listen please for about three years now about three years what do you feel sir feel pain here uh -huh. they scanned so nothing they scanned there was nothing and you feel it moving yes up to now I'm even... up to now even now as you're talking watch it disappear now watch it disappear you are an elderly man you get my point so you will not come and be lying when it's not done but you watch and see what the power of god will do because they scanned it medically goodness please let me do something quickly i see this lady wearing a crown let it go in the name of jesus christ lay your hands on her anybody lay your hands Thank you, Jesus. 
by the fire of the Holy Ghost, let her go now. All our workers are anointed. It doesn't matter who lays hands on them. Out! An anointed hand is upon you and you must go. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Sir, look at me. The Lord Jesus brings you healing. Complete healing. Thank you, Jesus. I want to rebuke that spirit right now. That devil of darkness, let him go right now. In the name of Jesus. Wow, something is happening to you. You feel something happening to you? In the name of Jesus Christ. Cabro That devil, go! Now in the name of Jesus. Can you walk now? Just shake your neck. You feel pain? Only here. Where? Right here. All right, lay your hands. Lay your hands. Lay your own hands there. The power of God is going through you, that very place. In the name of Jesus Christ. I cause pain. Tell me, do you feel any pain there? Do you feel any pain there? It's going. It's going, right? It's going, right? Look at him smiling. It's going, right? Now, check it. Check it. Thank you. Thank you. What is happening? Check it. Check it. Check it. Yes, Check it. Get the green bean butter. It's going. It's going. Go run to it will go. Everything will be. Thank you, Jesus. Now bend down. Go ahead. Bend down. Just no, not kneel down. Just bend down. Up and down. Exercise it. Yes. And watch the pain leave. Any pain. Any pain. Come on now. Give Jesus strength. Any pain there. Now. It's going. It's going. Where? Where exactly? You should be totally healed. What did the doctors tell you? These are demonic things. It is about, 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 about six. Six years. Five or six scanning. Anytime, listen. Anytime you scan, you see the doctors checking, checking, and they tell you we don't know what is wrong. Save yourself headache. Just come for prayers quick. Because it's the classic sign that this is the finger of God. This is the finger of Satan. Years. It's exactly three years. Thank you, Jesus. Say, I'm healed. In Jesus' name. Now, check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. Go ahead. Hit, hit yourself there. That's what I want. Until you don't feel any pain. What do you feel? Everything. Everything. When everything, when everything disappears, the top, look at God healing. Regina, Madam, ah, now wow, look at the spirit of death lingering over you. The devil would have taken your life in an accident. It would have been an accident, a bike accident. A car would hit you and kill you. That would be the end of it. Are you married? Where's your husband? We have to pray for him too. But let me pray for you. I cast that spirit of death. Go! No death. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Your mom feels movement. Hold my hands. We set her mom free right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Go! In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, there's somebody, please listen. This, this is where the pain is. The Lord is showing me. Just this side. I don't know whether it is, it's a bump, it's a pain, it's a swelling. Very serious at this side of your neck. Please, who is that person? The Lord is healing that person right now. The Lord is healing that person right now. Very quickly, the Lord is healing that person. The Lord is healing that person right now. Please, quickly, quickly, let's save time. The Lord is healing that person right now. Quickly, the Lord is healing that person. Come, you are the first person God will heal. The devil wants to bring madness on you. Hold on, look at me first. Don't show me your back. Come. Wait. The devil wants to bring madness on you. This is how you would have seen this guy. I don't know who knows him. You would have seen him walking on the street. Because he's have, sometimes you sit... Do you have any feeling maybe you are not yourself you have those yes sir you have those kind of feelings sometimes you feel as if you don't even it's like you don't know 
yes this is madness this thing would have come upon you last year it was because of the hand of god and the devil was determined that this year this madness must follow you but tonight god will deliver you you believe me we have to pray for you because i'm seeing you tied in the spirit this is what i'm seeing tied completely god is touching someone there bring the lady let hope rise i command that madness go right now i see look at what is happening to him look at look at this look at this how can somebody just start scratching his head because i said go this is madness the devil wanted to put up go 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 out of him right now take your devilish madness back to hell hallelujah what's she here for your neck now all of you lay your hands god will heal you right now please look at the number of people how can i just guess that your neck is failing you lay your hands the power of god will touch you right now bring that lady for me out 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 you must go now i'm seeing an altar burning i'm seeing a shrine on fire i'm seeing a shrine on fire this is what is happening to this girl i'm seeing a shrine a shrine catching fire every shrine every devil's shrine where your name and that of your family member has been taken to it catches fire now it catches fire now hallelujah goodness god is going to do a fantastic miracle outside i'm seeing a hole in the teeth covering outside god is filling up supernaturally a hole in the teeth please check it if you confirm you are the one don't tell us lies here please confirm it and come out god is god is filling holes holes literally literally to close up hallelujah now ladies god wants to do a number of things irregular menstruation god is going to heal a lot of these things and then lump lump in the breast or around wherever abdominal region hallelujah lift your hands everybody i want to pray remember action when i pray for you check yourself right now every lump in any part of anyone's body whether in the breast area in the back at the abdomen around any part of the body in the name of the lord jesus i cause that growth now let it disappear now let it disappear now let it disappear now now, now, long go in the name of Jesus. Now begin to check yourself. Begin to check yourself. Hallelujah. Now let's do this quickly. Every every other person, if you came here specifically for a healing miracle, please come out and line up here. Or if you brought somebody, please just line up all just protocol help us arrange them please please be very orderly no fighting let's hurry up while that is happening how many of you have not written your prayer requests please write it quickly quickly write it quickly and let's have it you came specifically whether within zaria or outside zaria 
you came specifically for healing hallelujah specifically for healing please let's save time you can see that we're really out of time we started late hallelujah myself and bishop will minister to you listen please as we pray for you expect the power of god to touch you and as the power of god touches you begin to check yourself as you go back to your seat please come out line up once we pray for the first row just give thanks and the rest will just be praying in tongues worship team you're going to lead us very hot worship as we do this very very quickly hallelujah bishops so we're going to pray for you some of you are coming out what will happen is these wicked spirits that are responsible for these things will leave you are you following me now i know that there are some of you standing in for your loved ones so as we pray call them there are some of you put your phone on speaker when it's time to prophesy tell your loved ones a word is coming wherever they are let the power of god touch them hallelujah bless you worship team you are the great and mighty god so greatly to be praised beautiful for all situation you are the joy of the whole
affects him any okay but but we're going to pray that is a you came here and the lord jesus is going to visit you right now we don't fake what you see here there is a name that is above every other name hallelujah it doesn't matter who lays hands on you brothers and sisters there is an anointing yeah are you getting what i'm saying hallelujah i am serving the living God out his out faith out is Jesus out. Christ. I see him is what I see. He died and he rose and he gave me victory.
Are you a witness? Is you that brought? What? What? How do? How does it shift? She will fall and can hold on. Look at me. Look at me. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Look at me. Look at me. Just look at me. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Nikab, I speak to you by the power of the Holy Spirit. No shifting for you again from today. I bring you the authority of the kingdom. And the spirit that sponsors this wickedness out now i command your ligaments i command everything like ezekiel 37 to be back walk what do you feel what do you feel look at come up her ligaments for 10 years she she falls down by herself do what you couldn't do before do what you couldn't do before Look at this, look at this. Her kneecap used to shift. Her kneecap used to shift. You are come, come, come on. Who are you to her? Who are you to her? A family friend. You are a what? Family friend. You know her. You know that this is true. Sister, look, look at the girl crying. Could she do this before? She couldn't do this. Her kneecap will shift and she will fall. That devil is a liar. Whatever the devil has taken out of its place, we bring it back in the name of Jesus. See, God is working on her. That wicked spirit, out! Come out right now. How dare you come upon the altar of God? Out! Out! Now, this is the, you see that? I told you many things. There are wicked spirits behind the activities of men. Let's hurry up. They what? They, they initiated him into what? They gave him food. Then you'll be seeing spiritual something. You, you'll be seeing spiritual something that you, if he tell you, you'll be surprised. Oh, they initiated him. That devil is a liar. Bring him up. Uh -uh, don't, 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 please don't cry. Hmm. Step that is your daughter it's okay see mommy look let me tell you including you god will say god is setting her free you should be happy don't cry this boy will be delivered right now boy how are you you are good they initiated you yes eh? That are carrying him go, they say they should carry him. That they will not allow him to go to, to stay for that school. And me, I want him to be there. You look at this. 
Hallelujah. That this water is blood. If they are playing, you'll be telling them that see this thing, see this thing. You'll be very functional and mommy, listen, it's not the fault of the boy. This is this is demonic. Are you getting my point? This is why Jesus brought you here today. In the house, whatever you keep in the house, he will not be there when you kept it. But if he enter, he knows where he sits and he will carry it. No matter where you keep it. Yes. You should still, what does he do with it? He, he was even at times the father kept ten thousand. Even I myself, I didn't know that there was money there. He went there, he carried the money with his friend and they finished the money. How old is he? He's eleven. Eleven years. Eleven. He was eleven in December. Watch your child be delivered upon Mount Zion. Look at this woman. I'll be fasted 21 days. They will tell me that I, even I myself have been seeing a hand holding him. I'll be forcing myself, calling him, he should come back. He will not come back to look at me. Then the man will be holding him going. And one woman said that he cannot come out of this. But I believe that the God has served that he can do for me. That is why I'm here. I believe. So let hope rise. Darkest After me, Jesus. Jesus. I love you. I love you. From today. From today. I set myself free. I set myself. By the power of the blood. By the power of the blood. From any covenant. From any covenant. And any initiation. Any initiation. From today. Yes. I belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. Satan. Satan. Pack your load. Pack your load. And go. And go. I have no business. I have no business with you. With you. I declare. I declare that I am for Jesus. I am. Satan, you had him. Goodbye. Let him go now. Out. This same thing is happening to some that lady. That's all. It's a family covenant. Are you seeing it now? Are you seeing as I'm praying for him? It's happening to her. It's a covenant. Don't cry, mommy. This is what is happening. How can I be praying for somebody here? The same thing is happening. In the realm of the spirit, there's no distance. They are tied by blood. That's the, as he was making this confession, you can see it affecting her too. These are spiritual laws. He he will keep this one by saying, because this one was revealed. We don't have all the time. Don't worry, mommy. From today, listen. It's okay. It's okay. Please, please, please. We beg you. Eh? Look at me. I assure you, you will return next week or next miracle service with all these children testifying. Boy, look at me. Can you see those people again? No. Can you see them again? No. You can't see any of them again. You will never see them again. And the same way you have been set free, I set that lady free now. Leave her alone. No, 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 I'm not talking to you people, I'm speaking to the spirit. Go now. How can it know that I'm talking? Am I not talking to everybody here? Madam, it's okay. I need to set you free. Huh? I'm seeing your head tied with a snake. You see snakes now? Even snake, even there. Hold on. Do you know me, madam? Have I ever seen you? How did I know that snake is tying you? Mm. This is your own because we need to pray for you too. Oh, that girl. What's the problem? Leave her. 
Ah, uh ah, -uh, is that why you're holding her? Just leave her alone. Let's pray, please. We have to hurry up. Goodness. Don't worry, don't worry. God will heal you right now. Shout, look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Are you ready? I hear the chains falling. It's all right, mommy. You are free. You and your family, salvation comes to you this night in Jesus' name. She's okay, she's free. Please, while this is happening, start passing your prayer request inside, outside. Please, quickly start passing your prayer request. If you've not written it, write it. When we are prophesying, you are free to call your loved ones and let them connect. Or if you have whatever point of contact, no problem, it's scriptural. He will pick a knife that he wants to kill his kid. See another episode here. What? He will pick a knife that he wants to kill his immediate elder brother. He will pick a knife that he wants to kill him. My brother, how are you? Well done. You love Jesus. You wait now. He's not the one. Look at me. Look at me. We give people here, among other things, spiritual intelligence. You understand? No man can just get up. Please, while you're listening, be passing your prayer request. God answers prayers in miraculous ways here. In case you wanted to write something and you've not written it, please write it quickly. Whatever it is. So, he's, he, you didn't come for yourself, just for him. My brother, how are you? What's your name? Clement. Clement. You love Jesus? Yes. You'll be delivered right now, right? He carried knife to kill who? His elder brother. Why? Just like that, I was in school, they called me. They had to lock him. They released him yesterday so that they locked him in the police station for three days because he carried knife to kill his brother so they released him yesterday so that he will come for this miracle service the devil is a liar brother look at me you will be set free right now you have taken all the glory you have taken all the praise you have taken all the let him go now. Every foul devil. In the name of Jesus. Go. Every desire to
How old is he? Go, go, go. Eh? How old? Nine years and his SS. And we are going to change genotypes in this place today. Don't ever believe. Hear me? Hear me? Don't you ever let anybody tell you you must remain SS or AS for the rest of your life. I'm not negating medicine, but I'm telling you there is power to change it. If this is the only miracle you have, I know many people who cannot marry today because they said they are SS. We will change it. If God cannot do it, then he is not God. But I think God is able, isn't it? Hallelujah. I change this SS now. The next time it's tested, let it be found AA. Hepatitis, go! In the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ. Let him go. Now. Please, as you're gathering the request, just begin to bring it. We have to kill many birds with one stone. Please, hurry up. We really apologize for the time. You can see how much the time is constrained. We can't do much. Come and help me, please. Some of you can see me, please, Bishop. Let's so that we'll tidy it up. Okay, let's, let's, don't worry. Cause hear the rain is pouring. I hear the rain, and I'm not ashamed, not afraid, and I'm not afraid. Out.
Submit your prayer request. It will go now. Look at me. Just look at me. Let her go. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Just look at me. Of Jesus, go, 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 go. Say, I believe go. in miracles. Go, go, and the signs and wonders, and the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes, I do go. believe. I believe. Don't return to hide. Give me the name of Jesus. Set her free now in the name of Jesus Christ. They are your children. Eh? This girl is your children. What's the problem? No problem. No problem. We don't have all. She has an incision. They did an incision for her. Native doctor. And don't worry, please. We don't have all the time for this. Whatever it is, Jesus is Lord. Jesus name. Go! Let her go. Sweet Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be set free now. Hallelujah. Please, we don't have all the time. Bishop, come. Hallelujah. We are going to pray on this request. Please stand up. Please bear with us. But every part of this meeting is important. Please, please and please. Just two more things and we are out of here. You can see how the time constraint. There is so much we want to do but... Hallelujah. Now listen. God answers prayers in dramatic supernatural ways here hallelujah and as we pray i like you to stretch your hands towards the altar hallelujah and just pray in tongues lots of miracles will start happening to people and for your family members after that i'll now speak into your life this is the best part of the meeting stretch your hands please stretch your hands even as we pray thank you jesus
Thank you, Jesus. Father, we give you praise. We thank you. We present our request before you. The things that we desire that you do for us. Lord, we pray in Jesus' name that from this night we'll begin to celebrate these miracles in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Some of the requests look impossible, but with God, all things are possible. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. For we are celebrating the miracles, the successes in the name of Jesus. None will go on answer in the name of Jesus. Unto him that is able to do exceedingly and abundantly, we present this request in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Give Jesus a shout of praise. Please stand up everybody inside and outside. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He sent forth his word and his word he led them and delivered them. The Bible says, believe the Lord and you shall be established. He said, believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. As I speak over your life, I want you to believe. Please, please, believe and return with mighty testimonies. We don't have all the time to do the things we want to do. But we want to challenge thrones, dominions, and every name that is named. Listen, and the Bible says, and whatsoever Adam called them, that's what they became whatsoever adam called them the bible says he brought the animals to him to see what he will call them and he told job has thou commanded thy morning we're about to speak prophecy is very powerful brothers and sisters this is the moment where everyone can participate including your loved ones who are not here hallelujah Every terminal disease in this place, everything called terminal disease, Kopotabareka, everything called terminal disease, in the name that is above all names, I curse you now in the name of Jesus. I curse you now in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost, that sickness leaves your body now. Leaves your body now. Lift your body now. Lift your body now. Lift your body now. Every SS and AS genotype right now. The Lord who has done it uncountable times in this place. My God, let SS and AS change to AA now. Change to AA now. Change to AA now. Change to AA now. With medical proof. Change to AA now. Every HIV in this place. Anyone with any deadly virus. HIV. Cancer. Diabetes. In the name of Jesus. Be healed now. Be healed now with medical proof be healed now I command the spirit responsible go go in the name of Jesus everything that has tied your progress everything that has tied your progress in the name that is above every other name I lose you from it now. I lose you from it now. I lose you from those chains now. Now. Anyone here trusting God for a job, both for you and your loved ones, 
We release miracle jobs now. We release miracle jobs now. I speak it into your life. I command it into your destiny. I command it into your family. Receive it now. Receive it now. Hallelujah. Every spirit of delay that is working in the life of anyone here things you should have accomplished something has pulled you down there are levels you would have been right now i command right now according to the anointing of the spirit upon my life let there be acceleration now acceleration now acceleration now i challenge the powers that hold you down let them go I challenge the forces. I challenge the altars. I challenge the act of witchcraft. I release you now. Anyone's marital destiny. Hear me. For you and for your loved ones. Anyone's marital destiny that has been tied down. Whether you are married or not. There are people who are married it's like they are not married there are others that should marry and there are powers that have said you will not get married this night cap by the fire of the holy ghost i open up marital doors i open up marital doors God protected me. i open up marital doors i open up marital doors Thank you, Jesus. I pray everything responsible for inexplainable academic failure. You are doing your best. You write exams. The result comes out and you know it's not your own. I prophesy right now upon your life whatever is not your own, I take it out of your life whatever result that is not your own i take it out in the name of jesus i command corrections i command adjustments in the name of jesus for those who have been victimized by any lecturer you are supposed to get a they gave you E. I command, let there be a restoration. That restoration must happen. Hallelujah. Anyone barren here? Low spam count, fibroid, whatever it is, I don't care what it's called. Right now, in the name of the Lord Jesus, Return with your miracle children. Return with your miracle children. Every barren womb be open now. Hallelujah. All the ladies here that are going to every devil called painful menstruation or irregular menstruation i don't want to know what the name is i don't care how long it has been from this night i challenge the altars responsible be free be free be free hallelujah i pray for your finances in the name that is above all names in 2014 we prophesy let doors beyond your imagination we open them now now financial doors 
financial opportunity. Every yoke, every curse, every spell that brings poverty, that's why you're giving. I curse it now. Hallelujah. I pray every dead spiritual life in this place. There are some of you, you came here as a matter of life and death. I command every dead spiritual life let an unction come upon you right now as i speak i fire it back in the name of jesus prayer life come alive now come alive now come alive now what life come alive now let the spirit of revelation come upon you now Come upon you now. That anointing of favor that can come upon a man's life. Many of you don't understand. I want to activate something in your life. I pray that anointing of favor that can separate a man for no reason. I pray as surely as the Lord God of Israel lives. May that man to hit you now. May it come upon your life. I pray for your family members. Whatever the devil said they will not get this year. Whatever project, building project, house project, whatever has tied your family, I prophesy, Lord God of heaven, let there be a rain of testimony. Rain of testimony. Whatever you have lost, and whatever your family members have lost, some of you have lost relationships, some of you opportunities. Let there be a restoration now. A restoration now. Hallelujah. And I pray that that presence of God that goes with a man. I pray for every ministry represented here. Every ministry that is represented here, I command, begin to move in strange levels of unction, strange levels of wisdom, strange levels of revelation. I release angelic encounters. I release prophetic encounters in the name of Jesus. Now lift your hands. I want to activate the gifts of the Spirit. We have a few minutes. Very, very few. But lift your hands. Hallelujah. I'm just going to prophesy. Many people will receive impartations of different kinds of gifts. There are some of you that need activation. Right now in the name of Jesus. Rakatatata. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Take it. 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 Give the prophecy. Take it. Give the healing. Take it. Inside and outside. Receive it. Healing anointing. Miracle working anointing. Prophetic anointing. Apostolic anointing. Entrepreneurial anointing. Take it. Take it. Leadership mantle. Take it. Prophetic revelation. Take it. Take it. I command your eyes to be open. May you see what others don't see. Anyone marked for death in this place? Anyone marked in the spirit realm for death? In the name of the Lord Jesus, I curse that spirit now. 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 Spirit of death, go. 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 
Go! Go! next week with dramatic testimonies whatever you wrote here as your prayer request i prophesy according to the anointing in the name of jesus may your hand receive it may you walk in it hallelujah listen to me Keep standing. I'm going to make an altar call right now. Inside and outside. There are many people that need the Lord Jesus Christ. You have seen the works of the kingdom. Right now I want to give you an opportunity. There may be a number of you who have never made a decision for Jesus. Especially many of you outside. Some of you were invited for the first time. There are some of you who have given your heart to the Lord. But for some reason, you found yourself derailing. Now is the time to call you back home. No one condemns you. But we are giving you an opportunity. I'm going to count one to five. No matter how far you are. Please don't let anybody stop you. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. One. Start running now. Please leave your seat and come out. Two. Outside. Don't let anybody stop you. Find your way to the front. No matter how far quickly 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 god bless you they are coming god bless you they are coming god bless you they are coming coin only appreciate them they are coming don't let the devil stop you don't let your friends stop you this is the beginning of a great journey young and old everyone you are invited you're most welcome god bless you hallelujah Look at me. Thank you very much for this bold decision. God bless you as you come. Keep coming. Hallelujah. Even if you are still outside as God is speaking to you, come. Don't let anybody um, stop you from receiving this great blessing. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure to lead you to the Lord Jesus Christ. This is an experience that you will never recover from. Hallelujah. The Lord desires to use you he desires to make a mighty tool out of you and that you spend eternity with him i'd like you to lift your right hand and say this from the depths of your heart you're not reciting a poem this is a real experience you are talking to a real person say after me lord jesus i love you with all my heart i confess that i cannot help myself tonight i make jesus lord of my life I repent of my sins I receive remission right now I invite Jesus to come into my heart be the Lord of my life save me cleanse me wash me Holy Spirit come and live in me do wonders through my life from today I make progress never to return to my past I'm free of every guilt I'm free of every condemnation in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ now let me pray for you father thank you for these ones every wicked spirit that keeps them in sin I curse it now I declare that this decision they have made will be authentic make mighty men and women out of them I curse every spirit every foul devil that is responsible for keeping you in any state of life you do not want in the name of jesus i set you free and i declare that from today you're making spiritual progress in jesus name god bless you congratulations welcome to the biggest family please i'd like you to follow the ushers the gentlemen waving their hands to you they'll welcome you and they'll give you some instructions god bless you in the name of jesus believe you have been blessed by this message for additional information hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins 
incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.